So what's the biggest issue here? Is it a labor shortage or a job shortage? Are people not or are the jobs out there ones that people aren't totally comfortable taking on right now? When New York State Department of Labor Commissioner Roberta Reardon says it's a little bit of both. Still, she warns that if you're out of work, don't wait too long. First of all, you're going to be in a financial position that won't be advantageous for you. But there are great jobs out there right now. But what does great mean? The commissioner telling us that, yes, she sees plenty of potential workers who aren't comfortable being around other people because of COVID or are having trouble getting reliable care for children, senior citizens, and even some who realize they wanted more in terms of a paycheck or just a career. She says these are concerns she's telling companies to take seriously. It's a time to really look at what are you looking for, what's realistic, and, and what's the kind of worker you really need. But with the pandemic still very much a thing, some people are hesitant, especially when it seems like those areas that Christy mentioned is doing the most hiring, like entertainment, leisure, and hospitality, seem less than the most COVID safe. Something that Betty Ann Tamaser, the director of workforce development for Bronx Works, says her organization has been working with people on. It's brought so much changes in, in people's lives in terms of their confidence levels. And of course, people are nervous, but I think the more prepared people are, they feel more confident. Now, the good news is that both the state and Bronx Works do have services to get people more prepared. Databases and people assigned to matching employees with employers want and expect the same things as well as services to let people explore different options and career paths in each industry, things that they might not have even known existed. And we have links to all of that on our website. Greg Thompson, News 12.